So how do you source for materials for your production? We still sort those ones at foreign foreign we, we import those ones now. We still yeah, where? So? Where? We import from Italy, from Spain and some from China. But we have an import I don't do that. We have I have importers that I work with. Okay, you don't, don't know, you don't bother yourself to yeah, there are so many things I don't bother myself. My my core hundred percent is how to market this product. So branding, packaging, branding, packaging, marketing and selling. So we have actually work with the team. Now no no I I, 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 I I don't want us to rush over that. <laughs> and you know why? Because in our environment, people tend to just want to be a one man person that does it all. You have uh, you, you have an idea of uh, maybe supplying chickens into eateries and the first thing people want to do is to set up a poultry mm. they buy vehicles for distribution Disaster. you know whereas if you understand the concept of value chain just you just look at the chain, chain and then figure out which one on this process, process this leg which, which one of these can I plug myself you into so you haven't bothered yourself to venture into importation you only identify reliable importers, importers and then you give them your specs. Fantastic. That's, these are genius ideas. These are genius ideas that I'm getting from you. And I'm already really, really bristling with excitement, you know, to hear all of this thinking, this profound yes. thinking that you have brought to bear on the common act of footwear, just to wear a slipper or a shoe.